now, the man, the hour, man. What, what's up, Sam, man? Welcome to the Cornerman Radio. How's it going? What's, what's up, up Sammy? Thanks for having me, man. Appreciate it. What's up, champ? What's going on, what's man? What's up, man? Man, I'm glad I have you on, man, because, you know, it's two PA people in the building right now, so I feel, I feel like I'm home. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up, man. Oh, yeah, it was, yeah, yeah, definitely, victory, definitely, man. man. How how you feeling Thanks. right now? You just came off a great win. You, I, how's your new year? Like, talk to me, man, Sammy. Let hey. me hear how you feeling right now. I'm doing good, man. I mean, you know, I, I just fought, you know, I just fought, started the, uh, the year off right, you know, with a W. I mean, I didn't, I didn't really feel like I fought too much. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't feel no no pain or nothing like that, man. I'm ready to get back in it, man. It kind of felt like a you know a little sparring match. I didn't expect that, man. I expected him to push it a little bit more, you know. But I mean, you know, it, I mean, it is what it is. He hurt himself, you know, hurt his elbow, or whatnot, and um, you know, either way, wins a win, man. Right, right. I was very, I was very surprised the way Aaron Martinez was fighting, like. He didn't fight the way he fought Robert Guerrero. He didn't fight the way he fought Devin Alexander. I was just very surprised. Like, I thought he was going to give you a better fight, a better, you know what I mean, competitive fight. But you, absolutely. You did. Oh, Sammy, I'm, I, I got to give you the credit, man. Like, you perform exceptional. Exceptional. That was like beautiful boxing work. Beautiful combinations, beautiful. Oh man, it was just just a great sight to see you, you in action, man. I was just loving it, man. Loving every round. Like I didn't even see Aaron, Aaron uh, Martinez perform did anything. Basically, you just basically did the fight you by yourself. You know what I'm saying? I just, tried I a thing, little I mean, bit. I, I trained. I mean, I trained for him like he fought Devin Alexander, Robert Guerrero. I mean, I didn't expect nothing, nothing less from him. You know what I mean? And for him to come out like that, you know, I figured in the beginning, you know, normally when he starts a fight, you know, he starts off kind of boxing a little bit to kind of feel what you got. You know what I mean? And then once he, once he, once he figures you out in a sense, like what kind of power you got, you know, he puts his his head right in your chest, right in your neck, and he just throws and throws and throws. You know what I mean? So. That's what I was expecting, man. And then, I mean, I mean, not one time. I mean, he didn't come in. I mean, I had to bring the fight to him. I was dropping my hands. I was trying to get him to come in. Like, dude, like, I'm giving you my face. Like, I'm giving you something. Like, come fight me. Like, stop. You know what I mean? Like, do something. Like, I, I didn't I didn't expect him to fight like that, man. And it kind of, it was it was frustrating for me, you know what I mean? Because I, I was prepared for a fight. I was prepared for, for 12 rounds. You know what I mean? Even though that was last minute, but I mean, you know, you when you train, you're in shape, you're in shape, man. It doesn't matter how many rounds they throw at you. But right. I don't know. But I mean, it is what it is, man. I mean, you know, whether he was hurt before the fight or he got hurt for me, you know, trying to. I mean, he his defense was good. You know what I mean? Because I was, I he didn't let me get in on his body at all. And that's what I, that's what I was trying to pinpoint, and that was my fault for expressing that. You know what I mean? In, in the, the multiple interviews that I was doing and stuff like that, because. You know, I wanted him to know, like, I'm coming for your body. Like, it's, it's I'm breaking it down. And, and, I mean, he covered up very well. His defense was, was pretty good. But I was just beating his arms, man, and, and just trying to just to break him. I hear that. I hear that. Definitely. I just – I was just very surprised that um, Aaron Martinez didn't do much, you know. I heard he hurt his hand. But all I can say, man, congrats again on your win. That was – that was beautiful work, you know what I mean? I can't wait to see you again in action. But I also wanted to know, when did you start boxing? What age? I started boxing when I was nine. Nine okay. years old. I was, okay. I was bullied. I got bullied when I was younger, and then I, then my dad, you know, put me into boxing and learned some self-defense. Oh, okay. And then you stopped getting bullied again, right? <laughs> That's it, man. When you get when you go to that school, man, you always got that one kid, you know, who, who who's the man. You know, you whoop that ass one time, you know what I mean? Then you know, no nobody messes with you anymore. You know, um, <laughs> were, were you were you as surprised as uh, us? Well, as confused when uh, the fight kind of got brought to a halt. Like it was it was kind of like, what the hell just happened here? You know? Yeah, I got up. I, I stood up. I was ready to go back into the seventh round, and then. You know, I see him still sitting uh, sitting down over there. I, I mean, if you watch the video, I mean, I, I put my mouthpiece in and like I'm I'm ready to go. 
And then I look over and, and you know, I mean, I'm like, what, what the hell's going on? And then I see them and my uh, my coach told me, he's like, I think they're going to start the fight. And I'm like, for what? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, for did, what? Did, did, did you know that? Like, his, but you you don't you have no idea like what's going on neither. Mm-hmm. Like, if he's what what happened with his elbow or shoulder or whatever it was, right? Like, you you no aware. no not at all. I mean, because I mean, either way, even in the third round, I mean, he was punching with me. Once the third round is when I I I gave him what he what he normally does. You know what I mean? To try to open him up a little bit, and I I played into his game a little bit, and um I was I was on the inside. You know what I mean? We were fighting. You know, like in a phone booth. You know what I mean? And he was hitting. I mean, he was throwing both hands fine. I mean, he was doing his thing. You know, I was I was talking stuff to him. You know, in the middle of the fight. You know, and you know, and he was talking stuff back to me. I mean, I was trying to amp him up. And um, and then I mean, and then all of a sudden, you know, come come the end of the sixth round, I mean, he ended up hurting his elbow. So I, I don't think it was hurt before the fight because he was throwing it. You know, in the beginning of the fight, and then when it came to that third round, you know what I mean? He was throwing it at me. You know, I mean, as hard as as hard as he could. I mean that I, I mean that I know of, but I mean I don't know, man. It's just I, I was very surprised about the whole thing. I, I expected more from him. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was a it, it was a little bizarre. It, it was bizarre for us watching it because we had the Amir Mansoor fight right before it, and yeah. it was the same kind of um, stoppage, you know. So everybody, yeah, everybody's like, I was no oh, PVC, you know. But it was just. It's just funny that like two people quit on the stool back to back, you know. And it like I was disappointed too, man. Yeah, but um, no, I mean, like you said, a victory is a victory. Uh, you know, and uh, thank you for your services. Uh, we have a co-host, Boxing Eye, who's unfortunately not with us, and I wanted him to be on the show today. I don't know where this guy's at, but um, he's a vet too, man. So um, uh, you know, I know. Oh, wow, my pops to him too, man. Yeah, man. That's so, all. Uh, you know, shout out to him. When, when did you enter the um, Army? I, I joined the Army in 2003, December 1st. Okay, 2003, when, but when I did, did a split off. I got out in 2012 after the Olympic trials. Mm. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you, you, you did, uh, not, oh, you did nine years then. Yeah. Yeah. They did, oh, yeah, okay. so, man. So, thank, thank you. you. You served in Iraq, or? I did two tours in Iraq. In 2005 and 2006, I was in Havana, Iraq. With the QRF, the Quick Reaction Force, and then I did um, uh, a tour in 2008-2009 uh, on, on a JSS outside of Taji um, as a 19 Delta Cavalry Scout, which was my MOS. That's crazy, man. Well, th- thank you for your services on that. Man. Um, yeah, definitely. We salute I appreciate you it, man. Thanks. That. Um, I Yo, wanted you, to you ask versus you, Danny, um, man. The question that everybody wants: <laughs> You versus Danny, the fight for Philly, man. What, man? Listen. I mean, we talked about that, but I mean, obviously that's in the works right now. I mean, I'm supposed to fight the winner of of these two dudes I've never even heard of um, that are fighting this weekend in Mexico, and then if I win that fight, then I fight the winner of Amir Khan and Danny Garcia. So that's that's what the bracket's like. But but, the, that, that, but Danny Garcia and Amir Khan might not that rematch might not even happen though. Well, I mean, I, that's what, I mean, if if they go by the bracket the DB, uh, WBC put out, you know what I mean? That's I mean, they're they're Amir Khan's a mandatory for that. So if if Garcia drops that belt, you know what I mean? Then I mean, I, w- I would assume that it would end up just being me versus Amir Khan to fight for that belt because I'm the mandatory. If I win this fight uh, in the spring, they're supposed to be fighting again in the spring. Whoever wins this fight from these two dudes that are in the bracket, um, fighting this, this weekend. You know what I mean? So then, if I win that fight, then I'm supposed to fight either Danny Garcia, the winner of Danny Garcia or Amir Khan. So if Danny Garcia doesn't fight Amir Khan, they're going to strip him of that title. You know what I mean? Which is going to leave that title vacant. And then I would assume that either me and Amir Khan will fight for that title. Oh, oh so you might have a fight with Amir Khan coming up. Yeah, I mean, so I mean, that's what I'm saying. Either one of them. So I mean, if that if that's what happens, I mean, who knows? You know what I mean? I mean, everybody pulls some strings somewhere. Yeah. yeah but. Yeah. I mean that—that's that, what's that, supposed that, to happen. On, on paper, that's what's supposed to happen. Exactly. Yeah. That—that's that, what I would want. <laughs> are, are you prepared for the? So, is—is uh, is your next fight going to be between these two fights that are going to happen this weekend? Then is that is that fight at least kind of set? You yeah. The, yeah. The, you're facing the winner of that fight. <clears throat> yeah. I, 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 one name I think his name's like Carrillo and. And Barracuda or something like that. I, I don't. I never heard of the guy's names. You know what I mean? But I know one starts with a B and, and the other one starts with a C. And um, I never heard of them before. But they're fighting each other, and and I'm supposed to fight the winner of that. 
and then and then when I fight those guys, which is going to be in spring in the spring sometimes, then I'm supposed to fight whoever wins the Amir Khan Danny Garcia fight for the WBC title. Bar- Barzini probably knows who it is. Barzini knows everybody. <laughs> you know, you know who 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 is he talking about? Barzini. The guy he's talking about? Not not really. That's not really. The the fight nah. that. It, yeah, if you look at the, the, they have, you know, did you see the bracket that WC, uh, yeah, w, yeah, I've seen the WC bracket. put out? I, I, I've heard of them, but I never watched them live. Yeah, me either. You know what I mean? So I never um, heard of them. I, I, I watched the them crazy either. thing is, um, I, I, I thought I saw in the bracket since you brought up the bracket, um, the I thought it was um Lamont Peterson versus Andre Berto first before you, you and Eric yeah. Martinez. That's what that's what, I, and, and I thought that they would be. I mean, just just looking at the brackets, I thought they would be the mandatory for whoever wins that fight it would fight um, Amir Khan or Dana Garcia. You know what I mean? And then I would fight whoever wins the winner out of those. You know, you know those two. But what they're telling me is that uh, they're like they're like the next mandatory or something like that, or. Like whoever wins out of me and whoever wins the Danny Garcia Amir Khan fight fights me and you know me or whoever wins you know between me and my between my fight. I mean, but I don't know, man. I mean, it, it gets it gets confusing to me. So I just, I just I just do whatever whatever I'm supposed to do. If I'm supposed to fight, whoever they put in front of me, let's go. <laughs> oh, I hear that. I, I wanted, but before I wanted, before um, my co-host Jesse Reekin asked you about Danny, I wasn't even going to ask you that right away. But I wanted to, me and my, my co-host Box and I was talking, and we was trying to see who would be a great matchup for you. So we've been analyzing it for a week and talking about it as as boxing fans as we are. And we was like, yo, Sammy Vasquez, versus, man, a Chris Algieri or a Devin Alexander, you know what I mean, um, and a Earl Spence. I was like, man, and Lamont Peterson. I was like, those those are, like, great matches for Sammy. I'm like, I want to see that. You know what I mean? Two out of boxes fighting each other. I would um, that, too. But, um... I, I was like, those are the the four people I would love to see you against. You know what I mean? But if you get your um, if you're gonna fight for a title, you can't beat that. But I was like, yo, yeah. who was a great matchup for Sam? And I was like, Lamont Peterson and Chris Algieri first, and then we can get later on in Earl Spence later on in your career. Yeah. But um. <clears throat> How, how do you think? How you feel about Lamont Peterson and Chris Algieri as a fi- as I think, I, I think, I think ahead, guys who box, who are, who are good boxers, I think would be a good a good fight for me. I mean, it'd be an entertaining fight between me and somebody who's a good boxer, brawler type guys. You know what I mean? I, I just it's it's tough, man, because I, I I blow I blow those are like that's, that's like my forte. You know what I mean? And and I blow those guys out of the water, and it's like I, I want somebody who's gonna box me, who, who's gonna make me work for for what I you know for like for what I give them. You know what I mean? Chris Algieri, good boxer, good movement, things like that. You know what I mean? That would be a good a good matchup. Um, Earl Spence, you know, would be a good matchup. We have uh, history together, you know what I mean, from the amateurs and stuff like that. But you know, we're we're both going our se- you know our separate routes until obviously we get to the top and. You know, I'm pretty sure they're gonna make that into a big fight. You know what I mean for, you know, a, a title or something like that. But um, you know, the same with, you know, I, I don't, I don't think Devin Alexander would be a good fight, as much because okay. um, I'm not, I'm not too threatened by him. You know, in the sense of, you know, I mean, he doesn't really have power in his hands, and I mean, he got speed, and decent, decent movement, but um, he just seems to break down mentally, man. Like, like he just seems. Like like he just seems weak in his mind, man. And, and if you get if you if you're able to break him down, uh, I mean, you know, I mean, I hit obviously way harder than Aaron Martinez does, and and I'm quicker than Aaron Martinez is, you know. And I bring pressure at the same time, you know what I mean. And I'm able to change it up. I just think I would I would outclass Devin Alexander now, you know what I mean. Now now back when he was the world champ and stuff like that, I think it'd be that would be more a closer fight, you know what I mean. But 
right now, I mean, I mean that's just I mean that's just my opinion on how I feel about it. You know, other people might feel differently, but um, I mean, I mean that's just that's just the way I feel about it. Uh, what about Peterson? And then yeah, Lamar Peterson, yeah, I mean he's he's real crafty, man. He's a, he's a good boxer too. You know, I think he's uh I think that would be a good matchup too. Yeah, that would Absolutely. be it. That's why I was. That was what I thought when I saw the bracket. I thought when you you being the winner of the Aaron Martinez and the winner of Lamont Peterson versus Andre Berto would fight each other and then fight the um and whoever wins that fight fights Danny Garcia. That's how I was seeing it because that's, yeah. you see, no, that's how I first. That's how I first heard, thought about it too. But okay, I mean, I guess I don't. I don't, yeah, I don't know what's. I don't know. I don't know what the WBC is doing, you know, and how they're how they're going to do it. But that's that's what I initially thought too. Because I mean, those are all good fights. I mean, those are all good, you know, fights to have. I mean, you know, what I mean, and that's good for me too. Because I mean, that's that's stepping up in competition in each fight. You know what I mean? And and if I take care of business, I mean, you know, that's just going to look good for myself and and just keep moving me up in the rankings. You know, but um, I mean, I, I don't know, man. I think it's just good. It's just a good. I'm on a good pace. You know what I mean? I'm fighting decent guys every time and. And uh, you know, I mean, I just want to keep getting better and fighting better guys, you know. And, and I need somebody to push me, man. It's, it's. I thought this was going to be the fight. You know what I mean? Right. I thought I was going to so get too, pushed man. and stuff like that. But I just, I don't know, man. It, it sucks being on national TV like that on Fox primetime, Fox like that, and then you know, for a fight to to happen like that. I mean, I expected to go twelve rounds with him. You know what I mean? And I expected to be a very tough fight, all twelve rounds. And, and and it's be a great fight because that's that's the type of fights I mean like when I fought Wally Omotoso, you know what I mean that was a good ten round fight. I mean I was I was bleeding from headbutts and elbows and you know what I mean. And, but I was I beat him every round, you know what I mean. But he kept taking the punishment. And he kept coming and I mean that was a good exciting fight, you know what I mean. But but with this I expected it more, but I don't know, it didn't happen. Right, right. It's crazy, man. Um, do you think since we're on the topics? You think the WBC is going to stick to their rules like they say they uh, they are going to do? Because I was looking at it like looking at how Danny, who you think Danny is going to fight next? Because him and his dad were saying, I'm going to fight May and September. So um, I'm going to, so I'm like in my mind, like if he's going to fight in May, I doubt it's going to be American because I'm hearing rumors that Americans supposed to fight Peterson in March. That's what I was hearing all and then then I'm hearing Danny's gonna take a light test, like a, a voluntary test in May and then a real fight in September. So I was like I was wondering, do you think the WBC gonna stick to their rules? I I don't know, man. I mean this is my first time I mean I mean, I, I've had the the WBC Fecker Box Bill. I mean, that's the first time I ever worked with the WBC. You know what I mean? And I mean, but I mean, then then being in this tournament and stuff like yeah. I mean, I, I mean, this is the first time I've been with Usada. You know what I mean? In the pro game. You know what I mean? So I had Usada on me the whole time. And I mean, I mean the way they, I mean the way that they've been working. I mean, I don't know, man, because it's tough to say, man. I mean, I, I would. I mean, if Danny doesn't fight Amir Khan, I mean, obviously, I think Amir Khan would fight, you know, Lamar Peterson since he's in the bracket. You know what I mean? But I don't know. I don't know why Danny will fight somebody. You know what I mean? Like, if you have the the title, I mean, every fight should be a title fight. Like, I mean, a big name fight. You know I mean, I wouldn't fight somebody low key, and then and then and then go fight somebody big name. You know what I mean, like, I would if I had the belt, I would want somebody who's qualified for my belt, like. You know, like the top, the top five guys. Like, I mean, bring them. Let's go. Who, who's the mandatory? Who's the next guy? Like, beat all those guys, and you know that deserve that. You know, deserve that shot. You know what I mean? Like, but I mean, that's just me and my mentality. I don't, I don't know about everybody else. You know what I mean? <laughs> right, right. But I, I was just asking you because I know, like, since Danny, like, if you look at Al Heyman's team, the most popular guy on his whole roster is Danny an American. So I don't see, like, you see most star fighters, you you don't see the the the, rank, the WBC, the WBA, or the WBO going strict with them. Like, I never really see that. Like, they let them get voluntary fights, and yeah. they, true, they got money, and they can pay the belt off, and... 
So it's like I, I want to see if they're going to stick to it. You know what I mean? I hope they stick so to it. So you're saying like, it, like, hey, Amir Khan is your mandatory. If you don't fight Amir Khan, they're getting stripped of your title. And then if he doesn't fight Amir Khan, them actually take away the belt. Like, you're you're stripped now. Now somebody else yeah, is going to yeah, fight for I, you. Know I mean, like. I don't see they yeah. doing that the first soon as he get it. You <laughs> know what I mean? Like, in my mind, in my opinion, I I just, I have never seen Danny fall a, mani- a mandatory since Lucas Matisse, you know what I mean? And yeah. it took a long time for him to take that fight. So so I, I hope it, it, it goes oh, in your favor, though. I really do. Um, but I wanted to ask you a question, man. Who you think is, besides yourself, who you think is the best at 147 right now at welterweight? The best at 147? Yeah, right now. Besides yourself, um, I mean, oh, the only, the only reason I mean, I would, I mean, just because I like his style, you know what I mean, and and I like how he's an in and out mover and he throws a lot of punches. I, I mean, I have to say Manny Pacquiao. Oh, okay. At one forty-seven, you know what I mean. If, if I'm talking about, I mean, if you're talking about, because he's still in the game, I mean, because he's, he's ranked number one, because I just looked at the rankings, because I moved up in the rankings, and he's number one right now, you know what I mean? So, because he's number one, you know what I mean, in the way he, he fights, I would like to see him fight somebody like Thurman, you know what I mean, to see what Thurman can do with somebody who moves as much as he does, you know what I mean, and throws a lot of punches, you know, and or Sean Porter, you know what I mean, but... I, I was going to take them out of the picture, like Manny and Floyd out of the picture, you know what I mean? Okay, you want to take them? Okay. Yeah, yeah, because you know, I'm well, in the, I mean, new, the new generation now, like y'all and stuff. Okay, okay. Well, then I would, then I would either say, I mean, I'd have to say um, it all It all depends on, on styles, man. It all depends on styles, you know, because I think – I think, I mean, Keith Thurman, you know, is obviously, you know, a power shot, you know, power puncher. You know what I mean? I mean, when they, when him and, when him and Sean Porter fight, that's going to be a good fight. If if Sean Porter is able to keep his movement and stay away from, you know, Thurman's right hand, you know what I mean, I think he could win that fight. But if he starts breaking down, Thurman's going to Thurman's gonna end up hurting him. I mean, because Broner, you've seen Broner touched him in that last round and dropped Sean Porter – you know what I mean, and hurt him. And Thurman got more power than, uh, you know, Broner does. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that that's t- a toss-up to say. I like the way Amir Khan fights because he's a. He, I think he's a really good boxer. You know what I mean? And I think you know what I mean. I think if he fought Danny Garcia, he beat Danny Garcia, like he did in the first round, but he got caught. You know what I mean? He got caught with that hook, like like everybody does almost. You know what I mean? And got knocked out. You know what I mean? Right. So I mean, it's a toss-up, man. It's it's tough. To, it's tough to say for me. Who do you say? Yeah, it's tough to say for all of us. We was <laughs> like, we was analyzing it, like, oh man, who's the best? Um, because we don't know. Because in the Sean Porter and Keith Thurman, to me, is a fifty-fifty fight. A lot of people they got it sixty-forty Keith, or some people might have it Sean. But I don't know. I don't know. I can't tell off of Keith Thurman last opponent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He didn't look too yeah. well in the Lewis Colazo mm. bout. And yeah, he Sean, yeah, Sean o- only got dropped once in his career, and he's fought bigger guys in his amateur career, career beating Danny Jacobs, Demetrius Andrade, all these top big guys in the middleweight and junior middleweight division. And the last person to beat Keith Thurman was Demetrius Andrade. And then Sean Porter fought Andrade after that. And Sean Porter beat Andrade. So I've never seen Keith Thurman fight an outboxer also. Yeah. I've yeah. never seen I always see him fight pressure fighters. I've never seen somebody I mean, who can stick and move and give him think and make him think and... I've never seen. Exactly. So I don't really know who's going to win that fight. And and that all depends on what kind of Sean Porter comes out. You know what I mean, if he's able to box, you know what I mean. Like when he lost to Kell Brook, okay, he was pressuring Kell Brook, which is when he was losing. You know what I mean. Right. And then when 
after like too late, obviously, but like I think like the eighth, starting the eighth round, he started boxing, and I think he was beating Kell Brook to the punch, in right. a sense. You know what I mean? So I think if he boxes, you know what I mean he'll be good, but he needs to be slick. You know what I mean? He needs to keep that movement and turn him, you know, as much as possible. You know, because Keith gets touched. You know what I mean? We all know that Guerrero touched him. Um, uh, uh, what's Lado his name? Who's that Mexican? Him. There's that Mexican too. Um, oh, Diego Chavez. No, he's Him Archie. Um, he's from Archin, um, yeah, Argentina. Um, matter of fact, he fights. He fights that uh, BKB or whatever. That bare, bare knuckles now too. Um, that uh, um, Gay Rosado. That, that nope. No, he, he fights at 147, and sometimes 154. Um, damn, I forget his name now. Hold on, I'll find <laughs> the name. I'll find the name real quick. Yeah, he fought. Yeah, he fought Thurman. So just yeah, box for Thurman. It's, I know it's, it's on there, but um, I mean, he was touching him, and then and then Thurman ended up catching him, knocking him out. You know what I mean? But I mean, he oh, gets, Soto Thurman Karras? gets touched, man. Yes, yeah, was it? yeah, yeah, Soto Cross. Okay, you know okay, I know. And he was getting touched by him, and then I mean, he was getting touched by Guerrero. He was getting touched by uh, yeah, the last dude he fought. I mean, Lazo. it's not like he doesn't yeah. get touched. You know, so it's like, it, it, it's as long as Sean moves, he'll be he'll beat Thurman. You know what I mean? Just don't, just don't stand there. You know, just don't stand in front. If I would fight Thurman, I mean, he obviously you you heard him commentate my fight. You know what I mean? He said that he doesn't like my style. He doesn't like my style because he that that style is is uncomfortable for him. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. I'm always that. moving. I'm turning as much as possible. You know, and that's, that's right. what I would do with him. him. I would box him. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not I'm not gonna go in there in a slugfest with somebody who who you know is known as a a, a power hitter. You know what I mean? So right. you know, I'm gonna you box you and be and move. Notice lately he's not he's not been the um the aggressor or somebody who wants to slugfest anymore. Because if you've yeah. seen the Colazzo and the uh, Robert Guerrero, he's been on his back foot. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I noticed I noticed that a lot too. I mean, because I was like, wait, you know, Mister One Time over here, you know, said that, you know, I mean, he I mean he goes in there and knocks these guys out. You know, what I mean, and, and I mean. I thought I was expecting him to be a little bit pressure a little bit, you know what I mean, get these guys to commit and then catch these dudes and, and knock them out. You know what I mean? But he's been fighting on his back foot now. You know, maybe he's trying something new, trying to box, you know what I mean, which is which isn't a bad thing either, you know, but I mean, yeah, I mean maybe he's looking for like longevity, you know what I mean? Cause, and that's the thing too. It's um everybody's talking about like uh fight the the fight of the year already. They give they're already giving like don't label it. I mean, it, it it could be a not so entertaining fight, you know. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you know, because on on paper, yeah, it's fight of the year. But um, you know, with, when they get in the ring, it could be a letdown, you know. So what, you know, we'll just have to wait March twelfth till it happens. Hell, that's just like my fight. My fight looked good on paper too. I mean, that's you got right, two guys right. like, like that fight just like me, and then you watch the fight, and it's like, what the hell just happened? Like this. <laughs> It sucked. That, that was you know like, I mean? like a little like matter of circumstances stuff, but yeah, I, I, yeah, 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 yeah. It was right, man. You, you, but, well, I was I was definitely cheering for you on um on, on fight night because yeah, you know I'm saying like I'm pro PA man. I'm pro Philadelphia. I'm pro Pennsylvania. So I was man. I was cheering for you, man. I I wanted you to win and show the world how great you were and thing. So I'm I'm glad you man, did we, your we need job. More. We need Definitely. more of us, man. You know what I mean? There's only a few to come out of Pittsburgh. You know what I mean? I mean, right, I mean right. back in the day, there's a lot of names, but out of Pittsburgh itself, I mean, you only got really me, Paul Spadafora, you know, and, and Michael Moore. I, 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 I mean, thought that, that Salka was... is from Pittsburgh. Salka. Oh, Rod Salka. Rod yeah, Salka. yeah, Rod Salka too. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah when you hear Philly, um, you usually hear Philly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because that is true. It's true because I mean, most mostly all the fighters come out of Philly. You know what I mean? There's not too right, many guys right. from Pittsburgh, but but there is now. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I wanted to ask you what really happened in your amateur fight with Earl Spence. Can you explain to us and let us know um what went on on that fight night? Because we didn't get a chance to see it like some people have. So. Uh, I mean, you know, we fought, man. Like he was my first fight, you know, in, in the Olympic trials, and then okay. when we fought, I was. Oh, uh, I mean, what I lost, I lost, what I lose by I think like five points or something like that, and mm-hmm. I remember the last round, 
okay, I'm pressuring him. Like, my whole main goal was, in, in my mentality was, okay, Errol Spence is the number one. He's been the number one for a while now. Okay, A lot of politics in, like, every sport, but, you know, especially in, in amateur boxing. You know what I mean? And the only way to beat the number one guy is to knock him out. You know what I mean? Right. And that was my main goal. Every time I stepped in the ring with Errol, I wanted to knock him out because that, that in my mind, that was the only way I was going to win. I wasn't going to outbox him or outpoint him because they wouldn't give it to me. You know what I mean? So even every round, I would just go in there and I would just try to just knock. Every punch I threw was was as hard as I could and just, and just trying to just break him down. You know what I mean? In the last round, man, he knew I was coming. I heard his I heard his coach, you know, telling you know Errol to run, you know, like go go go, you know, and because they they knew I was coming, you know, what I mean, he was up on points, you know, and and I was losing, you know, what I mean, and, and I wanted to try to win, and I wanted to try to stop him, and I mean, it just I just couldn't get to him fast enough. I couldn't I couldn't uh I couldn't you know get the job done, you know, so I ended up losing, going in the losers bracket, and then fighting my way all the way up to the uh, the semifinals, or whatever, and I ended up losing to Amir and Mom. Okay. So, 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 you, did you think you won um, the fight? Because um, I know you said the um, the judges scored it on points for him. Um, how did you feel? Did you feel like you won that night, or you feel like you might have took an L that night? Well, I mean, it, that, I mean that night in my mentality. I mean, my mentality was like, you know, what I mean, I didn't knock him out. You know what I mean so it, it's like I lost. You know what I'm saying so, like, I I wasn't expecting the judges to say that I won. You know what I mean? Even if, like, deep down, like, I thought I won because I threw more punches, you know what I mean? And I felt that I landed more punches. But, you know, there are certain angles that, you know, the the judges don't see, so they don't count certain shots and things like that, you know. So, but, I mean, you know, I mean, Errol did his thing. I mean, he ended up beating me. You know what I mean? I felt, you know what I mean? If I felt I won, I mean, I felt I won. But, you know, the deciding factor is, you know, I ended up losing. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, I mean, eventually, you know, we're going to see each other, you know, in the Waterway division, you know, probably fight for a title. and. Uh, you know, I mean, we're going to continue our history there, you know, but until then, you know, we're both undefeated, both doing a great job, and, you know, I wish him nothing the best, nothing but the best, and, um, you know, I'll see him at the top. Right, right. So, yes, I, I, I love to see because people don't know how really good you are. Like, you are a great boxer. Like, I trust me, when I saw you beat Aaron Martinez, you make you made a real believer out of me. I'm telling you, uh, I was just such amazed on how you fought, man. And my boy Box and I, who who was in the army as well, man, he was he was saluting you. He was like saying you was gonna win, and he was cheering you <laughs> on as well, man. But he all also knew that he thought you would outbox Aaron Martinez and stuff. But um, yeah, I mean. That was my biggest mistake when I fought Arrow is that I never boxed him. You know what I mean? Like, my coach yelled at me every time I went back into the corner was like, you need to box this kid. You can outbox him, Sammy. You could do this. I mean, and in my mind, my, I was already set to, like, you know, I don't – I have to knock him out to win. You know what I mean? I got to – he's the number one. I got to knock him out to win because if I don't, I'm going to lose. Like, I beat myself. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, that's that, that's the issue. But, you know, that we've grown a lot from back in 2012, you know what I mean? Right, now. right. Yeah, you know I mean, we we keep growing, you know, as well as you know, Errol does too. You know, what I mean, and you know, eventually, you know, we'll 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 meet each other, man. And when that day comes, man, it's gonna be an exciting day. It's gonna be a great show. I mean, every, I'm sure everybody knows that. You know, I mean, everybody's been anticipating it, and you know, I know that we're, we're gonna end up holding out until we end up fighting for a title. I mean, because you know, that's gonna be a a great fight, a hell of a payday, and you know, it's gonna be a well deserved. We know, you know, yeah, we're both gonna well, fight. I hope you out. get your rematch, and I hope you win the rematch. And thing. But I wanted to get into, um, I heard that, I noticed that I heard on the commentators, they were saying that you have a construction business and it's doing very well. Can you explain about that? And how did you enter the construction business? And tell no, me about that, your company. That was, I, think, I think that's Aaron Martinez. That ain't me. Because I, I ain't never mentioned, I ain't never, hell no, I ain't got no construction business. <laughs> oh, I, I wish I did, I it but you, no. I, no, I heard, I heard them say that too, and I was like, they talking about me. But then, then like the um, the name of the construction business was uh was was Spanish, so I was like, well, they got to be Martinez. Not that mine wouldn't be Spanish, but I mean, you know, I was like, they got they must be talking about Martinez because I ain't got no construction business. You know, I mean, my dad, my dad's a landscaper. My dad's a landscaper. He's been a landscaper fifteen years, but he does some construction work. And I mean, I don't know if they was saying that about me because of my business. 
you know what I mean? But, I mean, it's, it's Vasquez landscaping, you know what I mean? So he does walls and, and, you know, driveways and stuff like that. And I worked at him all my life until I ended up, you know, going to the military and stuff like that. But, I mean, I mean, if that's what, if that's what they're talking about, but, I mean, I don't I don't own my own, you know, my own construction right, business right. or anything like that. They, they had their notes mixed up. You, you, yeah, you, yeah, because yeah, we like was like, like before, okay, right? okay, okay. Because I was like, I mean, you know, that's, that's yeah, amazing. But, hey, um, if anybody, anybody wants me to do some construction work, hey, I'm down. Like, let's go. <laughs> 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 oh, man. I, I meant to ask you um, also, man, in, in the Army, like, did they have, like, a boxing team or a boxing camp or competitions over there? Yeah, see, what while you were there? When I... When I got when I got out of um, my second deployment, I came and I went back to Pennsylvania. Um, my coach told me, he said, let's go down to the National Falls in Texas. You know what I mean? I said, I said I'm 170 right now. I said I was I was lifting over there. You know what I mean? Like I ain't in no boxing shape. You know? He's like, it don't matter. You know what I mean? We're, we're paying for the trip. Just come down, have fun. If you lose, you know what I mean? We'll just have fun, go out, whatever, blah blah blah. And I'm like, all right, cool, bet. So we end up going down there. I fight at 165. Um, I ended up lo- losing to Luis Arias, who was the f- number one, which I beat him. I know I beat him, but that, that that's another politics right there. But I ended up getting a bronze medal in that in that at 165, not even being in shape. And then that's where I met uh, the WCAT team, which is the World Class Athlete Program for the military. And it's actually an MOS to where that's your main job is to box for the military, and your main goal is to make it to the Olympics. So if they think – there's, like, different benchmarks you have to make. And if you're able to win all Army, all Armed Forces, and then go to the World to the Military Games and place in that, they'll, they'll accept you onto the WCAT team. So I went to all Army. I knocked everybody out there. I went to all Armed Forces. I knocked everybody out there. And I went to the World Military Systems Games. And I beat, uh, um, like, Poland or something like that. And then I ended up fighting... The uh, Olympic bronze medalist of 2008, uh, Alexis Vastine from France, and I ended up losing by him uh, by like seven points. And he was a good boxer. That was my first international fight. You know what I mean? And um, and he was a good fighter. So then, then I ended up joining WCAT team, the World World Class Athlete Athlete Program, and uh, that was my MOS. That's all I did, man. Was I would train, you know, two or three times a day, and and just box all day. Oh, okay. No, the reason why I asked you because um, I saw I, I love this movie Annapolis. If you ever watched it, yeah, like that yeah. boxing military movie. So I was like, man, I love that. So I was wondering if you did something like that. That's why I asked. Yeah, that's more yeah. of a, a collegiate. I mean, like they they have the um, you know, if you go to uh like officer school and stuff like that, you know, they'll they'll do like boxing and stuff like that. Or the Air Force Academy has their Air Force boxers. You know what I mean? But they're they're more, um, more like basic In-house. amateur skills. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? Because we would go to a squad, but because we were in open division, they're on novice. You know what I mean? So there was a big difference between, you know, our skills and their skills. You know, but it's a great, you know, even though, you know, they're, the armed forces, you know, is the Navy, Marines, and Air Force. You know what I mean? So you fight the best of, you know, it's the best of the best. You know what I mean? And then they take the all on forces team, you know, which is whoever wins the all on forces, and you know, takes them and fights the the world military games where you fight everybody in the world that's in the military, which is mainly all the Olympians, because you know, in different countries, you have to serve, you know, so many years in the military, and then uh, I mean, so you know, you fight the Olympians and stuff like that. But I mean, it was a great experience, man. I, I don't I don't regret nothing I ever, I ever did. Right. Right. So when can we see you next? When um when you think or oh, if a range of time you think we might see you next? Well, I mean they said spring, so I mean probably April May, right around there. Okay. I mean I, I wouldn't be surprised if if uh, the um, if the Miracon and Danny Garcia fight happens, I wouldn't be surprised if we was the main event of that. Right, right. You know what I'm right. saying? If if they end up fight, if they end up fighting in May, you know what I mean? If if that happens, if not, I mean I know that I mean that's what they're talking about. But as soon as I get the call, whenever we'll I'm always in shape, I'm ready to go. Right now, I don't even feel like I fought. <laughs> well, I hope I see you like three or four times this year, man. What's that? 
I hope I see you for a th- um, two or three more times this year. Um, when you, um, me too. This year. <laughs> me too, yeah. man. I mean, I, I just told um, I just told uh, Brandon that from uh, Al Hammond. I was like, I was like, hey, man. I said, you know, I don't, I don't even feel like I, I fought, man. I said, it kind of felt like a sparring match. I said, you know what I mean? Like, you know, can we, we should just get back in the ring, like, you know, two weeks from now. You know I mean, I'll be ready, ready to go. He's like, no, nah, you know what? Um. You know, we're just gonna have to hold up, hold off on that. You know, what I mean, let's restock a little bit. You know, what I mean, and then we'll put you on. You, you know, you starting to, you know, you starting to climb that ladder a little bit. You know, what I mean, so we need to, you know, a couple give it, give us like you know, four, like four months, three months or something like that. You know, what I mean, and, and we'll, we'll put you back. I'm like, all right. I said, you know, I'm used to these back to back fights. You know, what I mean, like, you know, what I mean, I'm 21, 21 and 0. I started, I turned pro in uh, April, mid year of 2012. You know, what I mean, so I've been pretty busy. Uh, I said, so you know, I mean. Anytime you guys are ready, I said, let me know. I said, yeah, I'll hop in there whenever. <laughs> yeah, you, definitely. You know that, definitely. That, that well, I want to thank you for coming on Facebook. here tonight, um, man. And I appreciate everything, man. Um, can you give out your social media so the people can follow you and everything? Yeah, man. Um, just uh, Team Sammy Vasquez Jr. on uh, Facebook, uh, Sammy V two one one two on uh, Twitter, uh, Instagram. Uh, that's what I go off of. I, I'm deleting my main Facebook page, you know what I mean, because I, I reached the max limit of 5,000, and I just got to get rid of that and, and just go to hop, hop onto the fan page because I want everybody to get, you know, I mean, I want to reach out to everybody. You know what I mean? I don't want there to be right. a limit. So, yeah. so that is, that's about it, though, bro. Um, yeah. And then and, any kind of merchandise, any kind of gear, man, uh, Team Vasquez or Sammy Vasquez Jr. dot com. Definitely, up. definitely. And you know that, that man. Well, record. hope you, I hope you come on again, man, Sammy. Yeah, it, like I said, that that O on your record, man. That's that's good stock right now. You know what I mean? Like, yes, sir. Like you know, it's not it's not everything, but you know, for for like new boxes and stuff coming on, like that that O, it, people want to see people with O's. You know, ever since first. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. It, it, it's it's nowhere but going up for you, brother. You know, and it, it's funny. Barzini was like, "Oh, I can't believe you asked him the Danny Garcia question." I was like, "Hell yeah, let's get into it." <laughs> you know, like yeah, hey, you know, the reason why I wanted nine. to wait because I wanted <laughs> to ask him about the Peterson and thing before you get to no, the no, Danny no, thing. No, no, oh, that's why. <laughs> 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 seven years, man, man. Coming on, brother, man. And um, anytime, man. anytime. Salute, man. Salute. Definitely. Give it away, man. I'll, I'll come back on anytime you want me, man. I appreciate you guys having me, and you know, and, and um, it was a, it was a pleasure. Thanks, I appreciate that. All right, Sammy, have a good night. All right, God brother, bless. you too. Yes, sir.